Hey everybody, Jake here. And it's time for a recap, kind of in general, of the whole pen show. Um, I, I went into this a little bit um, yesterday's recap, day three. And uh, you guys have actually been watching these recaps, which has surprised me because of how long they are. They're more for uh, more for me, just to kind of discuss my impressions, or our impressions, rather, um, of the pen show. And I had a lot of fun doing them. Um, I'm glad you guys have enjoyed them. I've got a lot of positive feedback from them. So um, I'm, I've had a blast doing them. And maybe we'll do something a bit more like that in the future. If you guys are interested in maybe something like that, let me know. Um, they've been a lot of fun. So I'm going to, throughout the course of this video, do kind of an overlay of some pictures from the pen show. Um, I believe I have some short video clips I might be able to salvage something from I can splice in. But um, we'll overlay that just to give you kind of, guys a kind of a look at what we saw. We had a lot of fun. Um, also, while I'm doing this, I'm going to do um, some ink swatches. So if you guys are interested in seeing any of that, you'll you'll get to see how I do those. Um, but yeah, there was a lot a lot to like about it. I really do wish I had more money, a lot more money, but um, it was it was fun even with the uh, the budget I had, which was not insignificant. I. I'm not complaining at all about how much money I was actually able to spend. I had a, a lot of fun with that. Um, <clears throat> I'll go ahead and bring out the two pens that that I was able to um, purchase. The uh, the Pelican M805 Ocean Swirl, which is just amazing. And the Sailor 1911 Large Tangerine, which is a North American exclusive, which is also absolutely breathtaking super bright very very vibrant pen um i'll have a, a fun time picking out a good orange ink to go with that if you have any recommendations by the way um let me know this is pretty color accurate um to what i'm seeing in real life as far as i can tell so if you have any inks there's that same shade um and it's also pretty close in color to the not case that i got so that was that was really exciting but yeah i had a lot of fun um I, I saw a lot of people that I recognized, um, either from podcasts or videos. Um, I saw David from Fig Boot on Pens. I saw Brian Goulet, of course. Um, Drew Brown was there with Brian. Um, Anna Reinhardt, um, she was there. Um, gosh, who else? Uh, Lisa Van Ass, I've seen her before. Um, <clears throat> Brad Dowdy, of course. Jonathan Brooks. Um... I'm forgetting one. Mike Masuyama, who I've, I've seen him before. Um, I think that's about it. I'm probably forgetting some people, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. Especially for me to be surrounded by a bunch of people who liked fountain pens. Um, as Josh mentioned, I hope it wasn't in any of the cutout footage in uh, the Day 3 recap. It was really fun to be around people that... Um, knew about fountain pens and used fountain pens because apart from me the only people i know that actually use or like them um are my wife and uh my friend josh i, I have one other co-worker who um uses pens but he's not really into collecting them so it's you know but it was it was just it was a completely different experience from what i thought it was going to be and i had a, a ton of fun it was great to get to go um and to see all these people just enjoying themselves, which is what I was getting to do too. Because I know there's no pen stores really around me. It's um, at least an hour, hour and a half drive to the closest one. But um, it was it was exciting. There was a lot of stuff. Um, as I mentioned, it was really overwhelming, but in kind of a good way. Um, it, I really wish I had had more money, but I think everyone there did. So. But I was very fortunate. I kind of went to the show almost knowing I was going to get the Pelican Ocean Swirl. Um, I had gone to a different vendor and didn't really see... It It, it didn't match what I wanted. Because the, the variance between the the ones with the chatoyants in certain areas and the ones that aren't... I really wanted kind of a, a nice split. So I did. And one thing that I want to highlight... Um, people have mentioned it before, but I haven't really seen any good pictures of it. 
even the darker parts of the pen still have that that shine. It's not even being captured on camera here very well. I'll have to um, have to take some some good pictures of it and maybe add them to the review. Let's see if I can kind of get it to focus here. But there, there's really not any solid black spots on this pen. They're all this blue color, and it's just so hard for me to get it on camera. But um, it's it's great. It really does look kind of like the like just the ocean where the kind of dark and lighter patches. It's it's amazing. And this pen's kind of the complete opposite. It's super vibrant all the way across. Completely different material. One solid color, but it, it's just gorgeous. And both of these pens have amazing nibs. They look and write just perfect. Um, a sailor's nibs are, are very, very, very impressive. I love the way they look. Um, Pelican nibs are amazing as well. One thing I I was um, a little worried about with the Sailor is it's a, it's a little short. Um, it is a little longer than the, than the uh, 3776 when uncapped. Capped, they're about the same. But that, that was really nice for me. Um, the section's a good size. Overall, I was very impressed. I really don't think I'll have to post the pen. Um, not that it feels terrible. I think I prefer it unposted, to be honest. One other thing I found out at the Fountain Pen Show, I'd heard people talking about um, a pen being too big or too small for them. And I'd known about the too small um, thing. Some pens are just not not wide enough at the grip for me. I can write with them just fine, but they're not my favorite. Um, my Pilot Quattro is an exception to that. Just because the grip's so odd, it, it just fits. But, um... I definitely tried out some pens that were way too big. <laughs> so there were, I believe there was an Omos that I tried. It was like, it was a similar orange color, but I believe it was a Paragon. It was the, the, um, faceted sides, but it was just gargantuan. It's like, this is ridiculous. I can't see anyone writing with this, but I'm sure someone has, they made it for somebody, but I will say, um, I've tried the, M200, 400, um, they're the same size, just gold and silver nib. Um, I've tried the M600s. I really didn't like those. The, they didn't weigh enough to me, which sounds odd, but the Pelicans with the plastic pistons, if you've held any of them, you may know what I'm talking about. They just feel so much lighter. It's not, even when compared to something like this, this feels heavier than they do. And it's a nice, consistent weight, and it feels very nice. Not to say those Pelicans don't feel high quality or anything, but they just don't feel the same. This feels just amazing. The section is great. It tapers just enough for me. I, again, you guys know I hold my pens down very, very far, um, very close to the nib. And these nibs are gorgeous. It currently has a uh, Iroshizuku Kosumosu in it, so that's that's great. The piston on this on this is very, very smooth. Um, I I'm not going to post this. I, I will further view so you guys can see, but I feel like scratching it up. And also the size is great for me. Um, actually, I'm very curious to see how it stacks up to the Twisby 580 because I've talked about that being really nice in my hand as well. The section is definitely larger on the Pelican. Um, but let's see like lengthwise. So from nib tip to the end, they're pretty close, but... Um, from just end of the section to end of the section, the 580 is a little longer. Um, Pelican's heavier, which is surprising. Um, I think I prefer the Pelican, actually. I think so. That's, that's amazing uh, to me, because I really, really enjoy the 580s. Um, I think they're um, ergonomically one of my favorite pens, or they were up until now. <laughs> they're still very very good I still like them quite a bit um, but I have two of them already I don't think I'll be getting any more um, Pelicans though I I may look into I really want to check out an M1000 I've heard the nibs are very springy on those and I really like a bouncy soft nib so I'm, I'm probably going to check one of those out I really, I really want to get um, a special edition one of those if I can I don't like the regular editions. Not that they're not pretty or anything, but 
the special editions they do for the M1000 are just amazing. But I just can't see myself paying that much for a pen that I don't absolutely love. Which is, um, sorry about that, I'm, I'm drinking something at the moment. Which is one thing I do enjoy about this. I love this pen. It's breathtaking to me. It is just amazing. Seeing it in person, seeing it in pictures, very different. Um, you guys know when Pelican did their marketing material, it basically only showed this side. Like the really pretty, um, really shiny, bright side. It never showed this. Now, what, what I'm seeing on camera right now is black with a streak of blue um, up here and then right here which is nothing close to what I'm seeing in front of my face right now. I will try to include some pictures um, just in this one so you guys can kind of see what I'm, what I'm talking about. But this, seeing it, if you get a chance to look at this pen in person, do it, hold it, pick it up, write with it, it's great. Um, I do have a complaint about this pen. I will include in the review, and it's the only thing I don't love so far. I'm not going to say I don't like it because I do like it, but I... I don't know. I don't know. I'm so torn. So it puts down a lot of ink. A lot. A lot of ink. It puts down more ink than the Duraflex does. I compared them while I was uh, on the trip because I brought the Duraflex with me. And I was riding with um, the Ernest Hemingway Santiago Sea Blue. And I didn't get to see any of the blue. None of it. Unless I smeared it on the page. Because it was all like dark like that kind of dark color with the red sheen so that was um that that ink was taken out of the pen as soon as i got home um so now it's uh poly de Rochizuku kosumosu in it which is very nice compliment to the pen i think and um, speaking of kosumosu while i'm talking i'm going to go ahead and do a, a um an ink swatch of it i'm going to put up the sailor i'm not allowed to have it yet anyway but my wife was kind enough to let me use it for these videos so thank you to her um, also thank you to, uh, she won't watch this, but I want to thank her for going to the pen show with me. Um, she did get a pen, which I was very excited about. And, um, also encouraging and enabling me when buying these. One thing I want to say about Costa Mosu real quick, the bottle, the ink is so light, it's, it's see-through. You can kind of see my finger. It's going to be a little hard with this black background, but you can see through this ink and it's, I think it would look amazing in a demonstrator. Um, it may find its way into my 580, the pink one, which my wife has now basically taken from me. We'll have to do something about that, but um, let's go ahead and do an ink swatch of these. I'll show you guys how I how I do them normally. Um, so Anna from the Well-Appointed Desk makes these lovely things called uh, the color ring, which I do my ink samples on. Um, I have... These are all the ones I've done reviews of so far, or uh, for the most part. <laughs> there may be a couple in there I haven't got around to yet. So what I'll do, um, I try to keep them organized somewhat by color. It's a little hard with darker and lighter variances. But what I'll do is I'll get a, um, a blank card. And I like to get a very good range of colors. Some people do like cotton swab. Um, I typically don't, only because I feel like you're not getting all the color you could, and I really like to see what an ink is capable of. Um, so one good thing with these, um, the very wide neck, which helps a lot. A lot of the smaller uh, Diamine 30 milliliter bottles are a massive pain for me. So I just kind of um, sort of bend it just a little bit and fit it down in there. I'll let it sit for just a second and pull it back out. So you can kind of see what we're getting there super super bright pink um, this is almost like a neon pink so what I'll do um, I try not to wipe off any of the drips or where it's kind of like gathering because um, those are the areas where it's generally gonna be darkest so what I'll do is I'll set it on the very edge of my desk with the wet side hanging off so it doesn't get my desk um, colored <laughs> and then I will set this ink bottle on top of it to kind of hold the card down to prevent it from um, rolling off the desk So I've got to do that for every single ink that I purchased, or that we purchased, rather. It wasn't just me. Um, but I'm I'm excited. I'm very, very excited 
to continue looking at um, the stuff that I got and trying it all out. It's it's been a bit overwhelming uh, again to um, you know go to the show, but it was it was such an amazing thing. If you haven't got to go, you've been considering it. Just go, um, if you have the ability to. It's it's a ton of fun. It was a blast. Um, if you go on my Instagram, I posted a picture of uh, me, Andy, and Josh at the bar on Saturday night. Had a ton of fun. Um, had a little something to drink. And there were a ton of people down there um, just playing with pens. Um, spoke to a few people. It, it was really interesting. Um, the staff at the hotel was very nice. Didn't really have any issues with them. The hotel itself was was nice. Um, we did miss the cookout on Friday. Um, there were a lot more people than I thought there would be, and I I really don't like large crowds, so we just kind of avoided that and went to dinner um, somewhere else. Luckily, there are a ton of places to eat in Atlanta, so it was really fun. But it was it was an amazing experience. It really was. Um, I look forward to going again. Don't know about next year. We'll have to see just how finances go. But um, <clears throat> there were a few things, a few pens especially, that I had, you know, considered before that I know I'm going to get now. Um, number one of those is going to be the um, the Armando Simone Club, the ASC Bologna Extra Bronze Arco. Um, it is a super expensive pen, as I mentioned a thousand times before, but if you look at these pens, they're just beautiful. And I don't know about y'all, but I think that um, the SBRE Ackerman, SBRE Brown, would look amazing in it, personally. So I'm, I'm really excited to pick one of those up. I have discussed it with my wife and told her, you know, that's I'm not joking. I'm going to get one of those. She's still laughing, but we'll we'll see. I mean, it's just going to take a long time to save up that much money, um, and I, I don't even know if I'd be comfortable carrying that around. But you know, we'll see. Um, the next thing, uh, the Sconti Homo Sapiens Bronze Age. It felt amazing. Fit in my hand. Maybe better than the Pelican, to be honest. It was it was astounding. I can't wait to pick one of those up. Um, Ryan Crusack's Scrimshaw pens. I'm getting one of those. I don't know when, I don't know what design, but I'm getting one. They were just stunning. They were beautiful. I really, really wish I had had the money to get one of those as well. Um, the They had some Franklin Kristoff Model 02s, Model 2s, I don't know what, what um, they're called. I don't know a whole lot about Franklin Kristoff. But they had some made out of the Jonathan Brooks material. They were um, like red and black swirl with a little bit of white. I wish I'd picked one of those up. I really do. Um, I kind of regret that, but that's okay. Um, speaking of Jonathan Brooks, I really want to get a pen made by him. I'm going to be contacting him probably sooner than I intend to um, about that, so we'll see what happens there. Um, but there there was a lot. Also, the Faber-Castell E-Motion, if I can get a good price on that, I'll definitely check one of those out. Um they were it was a very compelling pen it felt very nice i didn't try it out because i had no intention of purchasing it and i really didn't want to have someone go through that trouble of having to let me ink it up and clean it and all that stuff i wasn't going to buy it um Lamy dialogue 3 i'll probably look into purchasing one of those the only thing with it was it was extremely long um i could be wrong it was it if it, it feels like it was about this long um with a nib coming out of it still, so it that was that was something. But it was um one, one moment, there we go. Um, it was a very nice pen. I didn't write with it for a reason stated in the last video, but it was it was nice. Um, I'm trying to think if I left anything out. Oh gosh, I don't think so. Not really. Um, I saw a bunch of Machier pens that were just breathtaking. There was a wooden sailor. I think it was like cherry wood or something. Um, let me look it up real quick. And I'll, maybe I can give you guys a little bit better of an idea of what I'm talking about. Um, I think it was, 
400 um but it it was really nice it had a very good weight to it felt very very nice in my hand um but it was just a little out of my price range um yeah so here it is it's the sailor precious wood kabazaiku cherry bark amazing 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 looking pen um when capped it reminds me a lot of a pelican um the same kind of uh, little piece down here but it's it's really nice beautiful beautiful pen um I'm, I'm kind of iffy on the price i'm not saying it's not worth it but i don't know if it's worth it for me um, I feel like I could spend four hundred dollars on other stuff. Um, one thing also, the Pilot Custom Eight Twenty Three. Maybe I didn't spend enough time with it. It didn't blow me away like I thought it would. Very good writer though. Felt very nice in the hand. But eh, I don't know. Um, the Sailor King of Pen also. I looked at that pen. Way too big. No way. Um, the, there's just no way. Trying to think if there was anything else that I saw. Um, there were a lot of things that I would have liked to try out. Not necessarily a lot of things that I would buy. So I might, um, might contact some distributors or reach out and, and see if I can get, you know, a pen to, to take a look at. But there, were, there was just so much there. It's really hard to recall everything. But I'm very impressed so far with um, the Atlanta Pen Show. I wish there were m there was a larger area, um, but I understand the need to keep it kind of small. It's still a very niche hobby, even you know when there's hundreds of people there. It's not it's not as popular as like a car show or something. It's, it's and I don't think it's ever going to be. Um, I don't know why, but you know. Because the way I think of it, pens are something that I use every day, and I don't mind spending a lot of money on something that I use every day to make that process more enjoyable. That's why I have, you know, um, expensive knives. That's why I um, have, you know, a, a nice bag. Um, I play music, so I have, you know, nice instruments. I have nice headphones. Um, I, you know have a nice USB microphone now. It's just, if it's something that I use frequently enough, I'm going to justify getting it one way or another. In my mind. I'm not saying that's that's how it works, but um, there's a lot of things I want to check out. I'm going to kind of uh, wrap this up a little bit. And again, I'm going to have some some videos and pictures um, in all over this, so hopefully I've, I've gotten that all sorted out. If not, I apologize preemptively um keep an eye out for the freaking ink reviews because there's i have enough for just months and months and months of ink reviews um i found that this week in ink i don't think it's going to be a weekly series um it's just a lot of work to get stuff together that's interesting enough so we'll see might be bi-weekly or um you know, I don't, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Um, I'll try to keep it weekly for the time being. But I also have a lot of reviews coming up, not just of pens, but of, um, you know, pen accessories. I'm going to try to get some more paper reviews out of the way. Um, trying to think of what else. I still want to do um, some more keyboard reviews. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll get around to them. But yeah, these next few weeks are going to be busy, busy, busy for me. I'm going to be trying out as much of this stuff as I can, working it into my regular everyday life without, you know, um, inconveniencing myself at all. Which is difficult as it is because these videos are extremely time consuming. I'm um, speaking of time consuming, um, over the past few days, I kind of feel like I'm doing a podcast at this point. Um, if that's something you guys are interested in, let me know. I can certainly talk for 30 minutes to an hour about pens, and I could maybe do something weekly, maybe bring on guests every now and then. I think that'd be a lot of fun, like a little back and forth thing. 
But um, thanks for tuning in. Keep an eye out for all the reviews of all of this stuff coming up. And if you were at the pin show, you know, let me know how it was for you. If you didn't get to go, look into it. If you have the, the means or if you're in the area, I highly encourage it. Even if you can, you know, only make it down for a day, I think, you, I think you'll have a lot of fun. There's a lot to do, um, a lot of little events, and uh, a lot of things that I think anyone new in the hobby or experienced in the hobby would be able to find and enjoy there. But thanks for tuning in, guys. Don't forget to check out my other stuff. And one more thing. Um, I just broke 400 subscribers, which is not a lot in terms of YouTube, but it's a lot to me. And I want to legitimately thank every single one of you for subscribing, um, for watching my videos. You guys are really what keeps me going. Um, if I had, if, if I've been doing this, you know, now for, oh gosh, was it, is it in eight months? Something like that. Um, if I had been doing this for eight months with no growth, I, I'd be very discouraged. So, um, thank you from the bottom of my heart to everyone, um, for leaving comments, especially that means a lot to me when you guys, um, you know, when we kind of have like a back and forth thing, that's, that's a lot of fun. I'm learning stuff from you guys, which I've done occasionally, um, but if you, if any of you want to, um, like write me a letter or something, um, I'd be more than happy to, to write back to you. If that's, um, if that's something you would like to do, let me know and I'll, we'll, we'll talk, we'll discuss a few things, um, in terms of where to send the letters, but I, I've had a lot of fun and I look forward to keeping this going. Um, thanks for joining guys. I'll go ahead and wrap this one up and I'll talk to you later. Bye.